you got to take care of the land and the, and the land will take care of you and your cattle will be healthy. My name is Cass Gevers. I'm a fourth generation cattle rancher here in Brewster, Washington. We're in a pretty dry environment, believe it or not. I know it's a nice green meadow where we're at, but this is about 11 to 18 inches of precip. Our goal is to try to graze as much of the year as possible. Cows are meant to be outside and they're meant to be grazing. Everything with grazing rolls into an overall annual management plan out here. You know, we gotta make our living from this land. We can't abuse it. If we abuse it, we're gonna be pretty short term here. Our name of our company in the fruit side is Gebbers Farms, and on the beef side, these are beef cattle, is Gebbers Cattle. And we raise pretty much all straight Angus cows. You know, cattle kind of run deep in our family, and it's a lot of tradition. We've been on a coordinated resource management plan where we bring the various agencies, game department, DNR, Forest Service, private land, local landowners, we bring them all together into a grazing plan. We're able to graze about eight and a half to nine months, even though we're in a pretty high snowfall area. We do pasture rotations. It's monitored by the NRCS, which is the Federal Office for Grazing Management. We've been on that plan since the late 80s. We don't ever try to graze one pasture the same time each year in consecutive years. We've ran about 40 miles of pipeline and just multiple water tanks up out of the bottom so the cattle aren't camped down in the damp areas and they're up on the ridges where they're healthy and they're happy. And it's increased our carrying capacity by having this planned rotation throughout the year. 